Okay, so in terms of this sprint, we've committed to 71 points and we managed to complete 32, uh, which is around uh, 45%. Uh, and we do have currently 15 points in review while the rest of it is either being in progress or um, issues that are being uh, addressed uh, from previous feedback. Uh, we completed five stories and we've managed to squash one bug. Okay, in, in terms of the goals uh, in this sprint, uh, we had quite a few goals in terms of delivery. Uh, so we were aiming to introduce simplified addition of grade items and categories in the gradebook setup page. Uh, that's currently in progress. Uh, and we also uh, had a few discussions during the sprint about the requirements which uh, put these issues on hold and hopefully we can um, integrate them early next sprint. Uh, we also um, working on. Uh, we're also working on improving the usability of the filters in the greater report, uh, and we've managed to achieve that. Uh, we were working on uh, implementing sticky footer in the gradebook, and we mostly in most of the pages we managed to integrate it. We only need, need to implement it in the uh, grade import and export pages, which hopefully again can be done early in the next sprint. Uh, we've managed to introduce new user tours in the gradebook uh, to highlight the new features introduced in Moodle 4.2. Um, and we were working on creating a generic select and search component, which is basically uh, migrating the newly introduced uh, select and search components within the gradebook into core so that the uh, platform generally can benefit of these new features. And we're also working on addressing few regressions that were introduced in the previous uh, releases and uh, some of them were integrated and some of them are still in progress. And in terms of discovery, we were uh, finalizing the prototype uh, around the bulk moving of items in the gradebook setup and that was completed and uh, currently we're in the progress of uh, understanding and mapping the uh, teacher journey uh, when it comes to uh, configuring an external tool in the course level and hopefully in the next sprint uh, we'll have a prototype ready uh, next slide please yeah so this, this is a brief overview of the aim of the sticky footer in the gradebook so by implementing the sticky footer in the gradebook pages we will provide an easy access for teachers and students to the available action in the gradebook pages. Uh, next slide. Yeah, and I believe it's time for demos. So we have uh, prepared a few demos. Uh, I will start first, and then Ilya will demo the simplified additions of grade items in the gradebook setup. Share my screen. I hope you can see my screen. Uh, okay, so first I'm gonna uh, demo the sticky footer. So um, currently I'm in the user report in the gradebook. And once I select the user, you can see that at the bottom of the page, there's a sticky footer uh, where all the actions available, such as in this case is the navigation, uh, they're available. So previously we had a big problem because they were not uh, very easily easily noticeable because they were placed at the bottom of the page and usually use, uh, users usually would have to scroll down the page uh, to uh, use these actions but now they are always available to them so we've done something similar in the single view report so once let's say let's select the grade item and you'll see all the available actions again in the sticky footer such as the navigation uh request per space selector and the save action yeah and that's pretty much it around the sticky footer and i will quickly demo the user tour in the greater report um so as you can see we are highlighting the new features uh introduced in 4.2 which is the search filter the initials filter and also the newly introduced action menus um, so that teacher uh, yeah, can find these new features easily uh, and yeah that's all for me i will uh, 
let you be a demo now the simplified edition of grids. Yeah. Hello, uh, my name is Ilya. I'm a developer in Alpha Team and also in Integrator. Um, okay, I'm gonna share my screen now. So, the screen. Uh -huh, and share. Uh, can you see my screen? Yep, all good. Um, all right, so um, I'll quickly go to the previous page, how it looks like in integration. So this is the um, add a great item uh, form. Uh, it's on separate page. So you leave the page and when you set the changes, you are redirected back to a grade report page or a setup page, depending on where you started. And it's quite a few elements there, which might be quite confusing. And some of them are hidden by default, but they are advanced. And we're introducing a new model, which is going to show only basic fields. Um, and um, it will have a link uh, we to the old page with uh, all the fields um, that are available for this for great item. Uh, so we're going to support actually both. Uh, so we have a model with basic information and the old page with uh, um, all fields available. Um, the initial uh, prototype, we're trying to make it a model first, but since there are so many fields and it's going to be a scrollable model, so uh, we decided to make this trade-off. Um, and yeah, this is it. Thanks, everyone. Any questions, Adrian? Uh, yeah, it's wondering, does the information persist in the modal? Like if you type in the name and then click show more, does it transfer over to the other form? Yeah, the, the plan is, yeah, to, to carry over the data to the yeah, advanced form. Cool. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm Carlos, I'm representing the MUPIS team on the LMS Educational Solutions, and I'm going to provide a quick update of the work done during this spring. So next slide, please. Reviewing the spring goals, we are very satisfied with all of them, only we have moved the effort of the study of the Open Budget 3.0 specification review for the next spring to give more strength to the activity cards and also to give more strength for the MWE study project. So, this way, we'll be able to create the statement of work for the next spring and start working on it. Next slide, please. So, reviewing in detail the work done in the MWE project, a prototype, a prototype has been prepared and technical studies being presented to MWA right now, as I said before. Also, the proposal has been shared with Luigi Sansonetti, the initial reporter, who today is not able to attend the MUA meeting, and he has given us a nice feedback and congratulate to Sari and Julia for the proposal. Uh, in the slides, you have all the links to the prototype, also to the affinity map created by Julia and, and Sari about all the core activities and the completion criteria that each activity has. And also, I would like to summarize the, the main goals of the project. One is to, to let content creators and admin be able to define the default course completion criteria for all the activities and resources in the entire site. That means that when the teacher starts on a course and creates uh, any activity, he doesn't need to go to the completion criteria default to create all the settings for this course, for each course. So it's going to be nice this also we try to create more intuitive description of the criteria for each activity and resource by progressing this cluster so we are not going to present all the settings for each activity so it depends on the settings that you are going to check there's going to show more settings or no and also as i said teachers will no longer be burdened with the task of configuring completion criteria setting for each activity next slide please The big win the work done in the maintenance of our components, we have prioritized some of the issues that we believe will help a lot with the community. 
you have in this slide all the list of places that we're working on, but we will we'll like to highlight some of them. So one is about the scroll bar on the course page. So this is going to be a pain issue that we have with the scroll in the content, and we are not using the scroll bar of the browser. That means that when you go to an activity and back to the course content, you're placed on the top. So we are fixed this. After a lot of discussions with UX, we decide to add the, the browser scroll bar for the content. So that means that you can go to the activity and back to the course and place in the same point that you were before. Also, we have worked to solve a problem with the reports and the XAPI with the FFP activity that affects a set of five or six issues. It's super hard to work on that because sometimes we need to decide if we are using the standard XAPI in the right way or is FFP is not using the, the standard XAPI, so it's, it's difficult to work on that, but we are finding a solution. And finally, we highlight the work done to improve the performance in the mod level update. That's when you have a site with thousands of levels. Right now, it's, it's, it's super fast to upgrade. And also, we apply some UX little wins with adding instructions to survey, it was a regression, also to move the role remaining settings from the course settings to participant and role page. That's little things that helps a lot of the community. So next slide, please. And finally, as I mentioned at the beginning in the activity cars project, we have worked on laying the foundations, the technical foundations to be able to build the new activity cars. So we apply new styling of the CSS during this spring. Also, we improve the after link, creating a new budget integration and help a lot of the community plugins to do the things more easy with, with the after link. Also, we reintroduce the group mode icon. Right now, we only reintroduce, but, but for the next spring, we are going to add a new drop down component on the group icon to let change the, the group in the course content. Also, it's going to happen with the completion and with the availability during the next spring. And also, we are working on two proof of concepts. One is about the new drop-down component that we need, and other is to provide a new way to go directly to some settings of the quick forms, collapse all the settings and expand the settings that you need, or hide all the settings and just to show the settings that you need in the quick form. So, is something that we need for the next spring. And also you have here the prototype and the instructions to see the prototype. We are not showing the prototype today. We prefer to show a little nice demo how we are progressing with the, the project. So next slide, please. And it's time to the demo. So right now our super Mikel is going to show us a little demo about the new styling with CCS cars and how we are progressing with that. So, Mikel, over to you. Hi, everyone. Mikel here. So, let me share super quick. So, this demo is more about directly related with um, which Sabina presented, uh, super presented. Um, last week in the US UX chapter about um, uh, the new activity cards UI. And yeah, I'm showing um, how those mockups are starting to become a bit more real. So we have here um, a course with, with different examples of activities from the simplest one to, you know, and we are adding you know, some extra information step by step. This could this will be the simple example of an activity and everything is working just as before. Yeah, we are just moving things around and making it like um, this bit different. So we are adding here the completion, an example with a super long name, super long name with completion, the new the new element here. We are now adding these dates uh, in just just below the name. In just one line, uh, as commented, uh, as Carlos commented, we have uh, the group mode uh, added here, the new visibility 
is is placed uh, also below the um, the name. We have this uh, new tooltips so the the plugin type here. Now in this um, new section, yeah, we will have some examples with also with description. So cars are becoming more uh, more more big. So uh, yeah, uh, this is how um, it's displayed. It's, it's becoming real right now. Some examples with um, images in description, with restrictions, and uh, lastly, uh, text and media examples over here that are, that are displayed a bit different. And the new afterlink that is displayed now at the bottom. And this new uh, element that it is a badge over here, for example, to show the unread post. And just to show you how it's displayed in low resolution uh, devices, uh, we can we can show here how everything is displayed, you know, uh, in a better way. Uh, when when we have less space over here, in also like super complex example like name, dates, uh, grouping, completion, description, and and everything. So. Yeah, that's everything from me.